How's it going, you guys? I just want to do a quick update video today on uh, the fig pop or bag method uh, that I've been using this year. There's several reasons why I went with this method. Um, you know, I listed it out in the previous video, but there were a couple things I forgot to mention. So let's say um, you have a fungus gnat problem. This method works really good because you know there's really no open air that the fungus gnat can climb into or into, let's say you have an open cup in a bin, they'll find their way in and you know destroy the whole bin possibly. So fungus gnats, bag method works really good to keep the fungus gnats out. Uh, two, let's say you don't have a, a humidity bin or you, you've run out. Using the four by 16 Uline bags that I found off of eBay, they're super cheap. Um, you can buy a bunch for like, I don't know, 10, 15 bucks. Uh, to get it like 500 or something like that. Um, excuse me. Anyhow, with the four by 16 bags, you can actually tape the top or the the open side of the bag, and you know create kind of a humidity bin within one cutting. So you know the other good aspect about that is that um, let's say you you end up getting mold in a bin full of cups you know, that mold won't spread if it's individually packaged inside of one of these bags. So there's a number of good reasons, but those are two reasons that, uh, that I forgot to mention in the last video. So in this video, I just want to do some more of my black Madeira cuttings that I just pulled off of my tree. They're nice, thick, and uh, super healthy and fresh. So that's great. And then I want to do a an update on what some of the the uh, figs that I've already bagged up look like after about two to three weeks. So let's check that out. Okay, so now that I have these bagged up, um, you know, let's say you don't have a humidity bin and, uh, or you've run out of space like I have. I've been putting these into cardboard boxes because technically using this method because of this extra, um, I guess this extra top piece of plastic, I can just simply take a piece of tape and, um, you know, fold this over like that and tape it down and so now I have this fig completely sealed off fungus gnats can't get through um, there's still air in here because I poked a whole bunch of holes in it uh, and I have the top taped off so I can put this anywhere I can put this here on the counter or I can put this on top of the fridge or I can put it on top of my rock collection on top of the stove Next to the bananas, chilling on the lazy boy. Well, you get the picture. Anyways, here's all seven black banana cuttings, all bagged up. Um, this is a cardboard, cardboard box, and I've got a whole bunch of cuttings in it. This is what I'm gonna do. Uh, bloop. That's it. Actually, probably not. You know, I want to stand them up because, you know, the leaves grow out, whatnot. I don't want it to break the, uh, the cuttings underneath. So, I will find another spot for them. Actually, I have one right here. Okay, so that's where they're going to sit. Uh, right into this little basket thing. It should do just fine. Okay, so now I just want to show you what some of the cuttings look like that have been in the bag... So this is an update on the, the ones that are already in the bag. For the last, I don't know, two to three weeks, roots down here towards the bottom. Leaves on top, looking good. Here is uh, my Golden Riverside. Tons of roots. Leaves on top. 
And all of these are doing really, really well inside of here. Some roots on the bottom of this one. This one is also... Um, I believe it's another Golden Riverside. Or maybe not. So yeah, you get the picture here. Um, I like the bag method. But you can see in this bin that I have cups in here too. But those were, I guess they were started before. Uh, I realized I was going to... I was going to get so many cuttings to root this year and literally literally ran out of space. Um, so I had to go to the bag method so that I can conserve a little bit more space. I mean, the cup method is, is fine too. Um, as you can see here, here's one in a cup. Uh, the roots are going crazy on this one. This is a Dalmati from Herman. I've already got Dalmati, but I like buying different or the same varieties from different sources um just to keep it i guess honest and uh, to make sure that i don't know i have different strains or i'm just addicted to buying figs <laughs> that's probably the latter anyhow guys this is just a quick update on the fig pot method um you know if you're, you're rooting a lot of cuttings i suggest going with this method i really like dave's um Jiffy Pop method as well. It's just uh, another variation I think that works really well. And um, yeah, I mean, so many different ways to root figs. It's just a matter of using the way that works best for you. This year I did not go with uh, heat mat because the heat mat that I used last year ended up roasting uh, the figs or the cuttings that I had more than helping. So um, went without it and it's been just fine. Anyhow, thanks for tuning in. Bye.